so a couple weeks ago I posted on my Facebook page that uh, on my personal Facebook page that I wanted to get goldfish since they don't last very long usually and then um, get a, like a bowl of them and keep them in my room for my like little sister to look at and play with and whatnot well I guess you can't really play with them but you get my point right and then once they die taking some of my extra vials sticking them in there with alcohol and leaving them and then maybe selling some or keeping some for myself too, just like little have little specimens or something in my room. That'd be kind of funky. I'm, I'm I, and also like I was wondering if my little sister would freak out because she's nine or uh, and she loves animals, or if she'd really think it was cool and want to look at them and be able to like look at the animal and whatnot against the light and everything without it swimming away or moving constantly. And uh, today my mom came up to me sad because uh, two of our finches died. We think that they were. Uh, that they died of shock or something from um because there's other animals in our neighborhood and had their cage out in the back for a little bit and uh because that's really the only explanation that they would die because we've had them for a while and they were going to be parents so she gave me their eggs since they had been left there and two of them look like they have little cracks in them like dense not like hi i'm about to hatch but like something attacked me or i was left or kicked or something you know um, but they didn't actually crack through the whole shelf, so nothing leaked out. And uh, we didn't, I don't think she noticed the eggs were there until today, because I think they died a couple days ago. And, um, yeah, sad. <laughs> we have other finches too, though, so they were in separate cages. So we either get more, or oh, so my sister doesn't notice, or just keep the ones we have and see if they have babies. But, uh, so what I did was I put it in here with rubbing alcohol uh, to preserve it. And... Ugh. starting to see some funky stuff in there already but uh I was watching another video that I stumbled upon somehow where they're trying to preserve another animal they basically put it in a jar with a bunch of rubbing alcohol but then I read that if you do try to preserve something in rubbing alcohol that it will pull all the water from the specimen out so I'm not sure how it would affect um, goldfish or the eggs or whatnot that I'm using I know uh let's see what they said to use formaldehyde or formalin free use, formalin free use, word safe, something. I don't know what that is. All I have is rubbing alcohol. <laughs> I don't know where to get formaldehyde. And I'm not going to spend money on uh, anything to preserve goldfish in. But, um, so you might see those in my shop soon. I'm not sure if I want to keep these eggs for myself or put them up for sale. Because they kind of make me a little bit sad because there are finches. So I don't know if I'll keep them. But they're really interesting to look at. Let's see. Yep. I'm wondering what the alcohol may do to them. I think I did something as a kid where you put like a hard boiled egg or a regular egg in alcohol or something like that and turn into like a rubber ball basically. I'm wondering if that's gonna happen with these, but I'm gonna be sealing it first with some sort of epoxy and then covering it in sealing wax because most of the stuff I don't really want people to open or I make sure that it's sealed in case you're gonna be wearing it on yourself because I know some people will get the, the wrist cuffs with the holes in the, or the little slots in them to put things in like this. Probably not this big though. Uh, and then like with necklaces and stuff that I make, I always make sure to seal it twice. But um, yeah, so it's one of the things I'm going to be working on eventually. Problem is nobody's been able to take me to the pet store <laughs> to get them. Because uh, goldfish are pretty cool. I like how they look and everything. I mean, they don't do anything, but I like their the brightness of their color. And I just, I don't know, I like fish in general. I'm attracted to water, I guess. Um, but it's sad that they don't last. So preserving them forever <laughs> wouldn't be... I don't know how if that's creepy or if that's cool because I posted it and some people were like, "Oh God, you're sick!" and I was like, "I wouldn't buy them and kill them. I would wait until they died, and I wouldn't be sitting there hoping like die, 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 die. I'd just be waiting. You know, these are my fat, pet fish, and I'd name each one of them probably, <laughs> put them in the when they do eventually die, put them in the jars and um, tell you what their names were. This one was Ferdinand. This one was Zilfia. You know." Maybe we'll see. So, um, I'm sorry if I'm gonna lose some viewers or um, shoppers or anything, people who are really for animal rights and all that. Because it's not like I don't know. I don't feel like I'm going out and just like hey, there's a dog and I kill it and use its body parts and I'm selling them. I'm getting something to keep as a pet and because when it passes on, because they don't tend to last very long, that's why I haven't bought me ever or well since I was a kid. Um, been preserving it. I mean, like. When you get animals, what do you do with yours when they die? You uh, burn them, maybe, have them cremated, or bury them. This is kind of like the same thing. So, we also have a whole tank full of uh, betas and frogs and other things, but goldfish tend to be pretty dirty fish, so I don't want to really stick them in there. So, 
And uh, for some reason, when another animal dies in the other tank, they get eaten. <laughs> I think it's, I don't know if it's the beta in there or some of the other fish, but I know they last long, but then I'll see like, oh, it's dead. Let me get a little thing and scoop it out. And then like by the time I get back, it's like, nom, 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 you know, Blake's missing. But um, that sounds terrible. But anyway, <laughs> so I'll have uh, this one probably up soon. I want to see what happens to it first. I don't want to just like throw it in alcohol. It was like epoxy it and sealing wax it and throw it on the site right away and then like by the time it sells I pull it out of my dark cupboard and I'm like oh my god what the hell happened to this thing and there's like green sludge and mold in it or something you know I don't know what's gonna happen you know I don't mold in or grow in there with the rubbing alcohol but you get what I'm saying um so yeah I'm going to be sealing that off now because it's not sealed yet take the cork off and I'm probably gonna put a little bit more alcohol in there because I don't want to trap much air in there just in case it affects it in any way and then put it away for a while. Maybe I'll wait like a week or two before I take pictures and put it on the shop site. So look out for it. And then also, uh, I'm like trying to get more bones and stuff for my site because I've with the well and spindle, my other Etsy drop, I've sold like raccoon penis bones and uh, snake vertebrae and whatnot. But I got this all from the Indian store. So it makes me feel better like praying that they're like uh, found or something <laughs> and not like murdered for their bones or whatever. Um, I'm a meat eater, so it doesn't really you know, bother me all that much eating me. It's using something spiritually or otherwise that kind of bothers me where the origins of something may have come from. So yes. Um, so that's it for now. Thank you for watching my video. Um, I hope it didn't gross you out or anything. I know I gross a couple people out my page just talking about it, but, um, not everyone feels the same way. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching.